we're going to be going over how to fix up skin blemishes as well as fixing up eyes and whitening up those teeth. So let's get started. First thing we'll want to do is select our healing brush tool and it's over here on the left side toolbar. Go ahead and make sure the hardness is at 100% and that you have a round brush selected. Once we got that, we can go over the major flaws in the skin that we want to quickly go over and get rid of, such as the red areas, the rosacea in the skin. Just go around the picture. We'll get all these areas out. What I find works best is not dragging your mouse, just clicking on the area that you want to get rid of. And what works best is zooming in on the image the most that you can to get a good view of what you're deleting or getting rid of. And don't be afraid to adjust the size of the brush. Here we have a little bit of a straight hair there, so I'll just drag. You could also do this with a clone tool, but I see that I can get away with it with a healing brush tool. Also a little bit of the leftover hair right there. So you can see already there's a big improvement in the skin quality. So the next thing I would do would be to run the perfect skin action. So go ahead and highlight it and click on the play button. So it's telling us we need a white soft airbrush to run this action. So make sure that you have a white brush selected. And we'll use our bracket keys and get a large size brush and just start brushing around the imperfections in the skin, the blotchy areas. We'll go around the forehead. I'm using a tablet, so I'm kind of brushing out the areas. But if you're using a mouse, just kind of do that same movement. The key here is not to do too much to the skin so it looks really fake here. If you do make a mistake, you can either go back or you can paint with black. I'll just go back here in the history palette. Sometimes if you get a little too close to where the hair is, it, it'll take in a little bit. So you can just continue to brush, brush it out. Okay, we're looking pretty good here. We'll just go around the eyes a little bit. We don't want too much so it doesn't look like there's a lack of expression in her face. So you can see the before and after here. And we can adjust the opacity so it's not so harsh. And it's looking pretty good at 100%, so I'll just leave it at that. 
The next action we'll want to use is Pretty Eyes. Go ahead and select that, press play. Let's make sure we're on the background here and press play. It's telling us there's three steps to this action. The first one we'll do is down at the bottom called White and Whites. And I know that the opacity that I want to do is somewhere around 20 to 30 percent so the the white areas aren't so drastic so I'll just take my soft white airbrush again and start coloring around the eyes to brighten them up a little bit I'll raise it up, up a little bit so we can see what's going on here and then I'll lower the opacity at the end. Don't worry about being too accurate in this step because we'll lower the opacity. Alright, so I'll go ahead and lower it again to about 50% and we'll work on the next area which is brighten the eyes. Now she already has pretty light eyes so we'll want to be careful on this step to make sure it doesn't look too fake here. At first it'll look pretty drastic because the opacity is up at 100%. So I'll just go around the brown area of the eye on both sides. And it's looking pretty funky for now until we change it up and change the opacity back down. That looks pretty good. We can see the before and after there. Just kind of opens up the eyes and draws your attention to them. And the last thing is define eyes. And this will Add a little sharpness around the eyes to define them a little bit, make them stand out. Also go inside the eyes and the pupils, just kind of makes the eyes pop a little bit. I'll go ahead and get this out of the way here so we can touch up the eyelashes. Come stand out. All right, so the eyes are looking pretty good. It does look a little bit drastic here, so I'm gonna change the opacity on each of these layers to suit what I'm looking for here. A little bit down on the divine eyes, the bright eyes, and the white whites. The last action we'll use today is the teeth whitener action. Go ahead and play that. It's saying to paint over with white to reveal the effect. She already has very white teeth. So we shouldn't overdo this. Just open up the teeth a little bit. You just brush around the teeth. You want to be careful not to hit the gum areas because it will lighten those up. If you do a little bit, it won't look too bad. Then we'll want to make sure that we get these bottom row teeth here. She doesn't have too much exposed here, so we'll just give them a slight touch. So here you can see the before and after. And we'll take down the opacity a little bit to have some of the natural teeth color shine through here. So our photo is looking pretty good here. You can see our shot before here. 
and after. I'd say it's a big improvement to this picture. Something you can show your clients. Thanks a lot for checking us out. Don't forget to check out our website at wbactions.com. Thanks a lot.